Hello and welcome to My Astronomy Nights. Nice. I'm Derek and in this video I'm looking at NGC 3718. Now NGC 3718 is a spiral galaxy in the constellation of Ursa Major and it sits just under the bowl of the Big Dipper asterism. It was discovered along with 3729 by William Herschel in 1789 and it's a really good example of two galaxies that have interacted in the past with those distortions to 3718 being caused by a close pass of the two galaxies. Now being within the boundaries of Ursa Major, it means it's close to the North Celestial Pole and from latitudes like mine, it's circumpolar, so you can get out on most nights of the year and get a good night's observation in on it. So to locate NGC 3718, I was using the Big Dipper or Plough Asterism, which is probably the most obvious star pattern in the sky this time of year. And it's dropping down west and moving around to that familiar uh, Northern Hemisphere position for the summer. So the best way to find it is to go for that bottom left star Fecta and then you want to look about a third of the way between Fecta and Merak and you'll see a little chain of four stars with two dimmer stars on either end of it. So you want to look for the most southerly star out of those four and you get that in your eyepiece and then if you're moving in the direction of Fecta you want to look for a magnitude eight star that sits in a little triangular asterism. And if you get that in your finder scope and then into your eyepiece, you'll see the two galaxies just sitting to the south of that. Now there's a good few galaxies around this area and it's quite easy to mix up which one you're looking at. So when you're observing it, the handiest thing I found was to use those little magnitude 12 stars that sit off the base of each of those galaxies. So there's two magnitude 12 stars sitting to the south of NGC 3718 and a single magnitude 12 on the bottom of NGC 3729. And it made it really handy to know that I was looking at the right galaxies. So NGC 3718 is a disturbed spiral galaxy in Ursa Major and it's not on the Messier list but it does make ARP's list of peculiar galaxies as ARP 214. It has a magnitude of 10.8 and it measures just about 9 by 4 arc minutes. Its core is quite bright and can be picked up easy enough with a mid-sized telescope but the arm structure and that S shape that runs through it are quite dim and quite diffuse so I was able to pick up the S structure with a 12 inch telescope but the arms that extend from that are just too diffuse to pick up with that kind of aperture. So this barred spiral galaxy sits at 52 million light years away which is really interesting to take into account when you're looking for Hickson 56 which sits at 425 million light years away. So NGC 3729 is a small galaxy that sits to the northeast of 3718. Now it only shines at a magnitude of 11.4 but because of the size is quite small at only 3 by 2.2 arc minutes it has a really good surface brightness and makes it easy to stand out against the background. Higgs and 56 is a small close group of galaxies that sits to the south of NGC 3718 in the direction of the two magnitude 12 stars. And it's really interesting, it sits at 425 million light years away and each of the galaxies are between 14 and 17 magnitude. It has an overall magnitude of 14.1 and the overall distance across the five galaxies is only it is less than two and a half arc minutes. But you will pick it up if you have good enough aperture. I was able to get a slight hint of this with my 12 inch telescope. So photographing NGC 3718 and NGC 3729, I was using the 200 PDS, which has a thousand millimeter focal length, and I had the QHY 163 mono camera on it. I used LRGB filters from ZWO, and I spent, it was, all the data was taken in over three nights, and I got 75 minutes or so each for RGB, and I got about three or four hours on the luminance, but then that was, Kind of some of those weren't great because I had some kind of moonlight on each night of it and with the nights getting so short it was hard to get those really good uh, dark frames of data in. And when I was editing these then I found it kind of tricky because it was very hard to bring the colour out of those because they were a lot dimmer than I thought and they were slightly smaller than I thought from looking at other photos of it. So I must try this again uh, with a lot more data. So observing NGC 3718 and NGC 3729, I used my 12 inch Dobsonian telescope. Um, I used this over three nights. There was a few galaxies in the area that I was trying to hunt down. 
and I was observing this one first because I found it was the most straightforward to find because it was sitting right under the bowl of Ursa Major and um, it was quite easy to track down after the first attempt <clears throat> and uh, but they are quite dim like getting the right area was was handy enough and using those magnitude 12 stars below them made it really easy to know where to tease out the galaxies now the best night I had was with um, just before first quarter moon and it was on the opposite side of the sky and I got some really good good seeing conditions and I was able to pull out that little dark patch in the center of the S on NGC 3718 along with being able to trace that uh, diffuse S shape up through it. Now the arms I found impossible with my aperture I think I'd need a, a bigger telescope to pull out any detail beyond the central portion of that S and while I was looking at that I was able to focus on the, the other galaxies nearby and the Hickson 56 was just visible with my 12 inch on a really good night. I wouldn't try this with any more than maybe a couple of day old, days old moon to try for Hickson 56 because it is quite dim at magnitude 14.1. It's right on the limit. Now it looks like two diffuse stars is what I could see it as. And I think I was picking up, I was either picking up the central portion or I was picking up um, that uh, A galaxy. Uh, on the outer edge. I was trying to make out which one I was seeing. Now NGC 3729, very easy to see. It has a really good surface brightness and it's only three by two or so arc minutes. And uh, that picked up really well. I wasn't able to pull out that structure in it that I was able to get in the photos, but again, I was able to see most of the size of that galaxy. I definitely recommend observing it. It really holds up well in a telescope and it has a few little interesting features to hunt down. The imaging was quite tricky and I'm definitely hoping to get some um, RGB data on this in the coming weeks. Now thank you all for watching and I hope you can all be back for my next video. Hopefully I'll be able to get a chance to do some of the summer globular clusters in Hercules. Till then, clear skies.